Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 110-14 IBR model and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to properly install your Windows 10 or 11 from USB drive step by step and how you can do it properly without getting all those extra bloatware installed in your Windows and pretty much the safest place and less trash installed as soon as you get to the desktop. I made a video how to create it properly your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive so you can escape that T TPM mode and escape the uh, Windows Microsoft account uh, installation. So follow that link in my video description to how to properly install it. It create your USB boot drive. Once you create it, you want to put it inside the, any of your USB connectors right in there. And next, you just want to power on. And if you have upgraded the hard drive to a new SSD drive, you just don't do anything, just wait for it and it's gonna boot. But if you have a Windows, you wanna press F12 and it will give you a boot menu and you're gonna choose your USB. So I'm gonna wait here and it's gonna read that there's no nothing in my hard drive, no system, and it's gonna go to you the USB drive and it's gonna show up right in here. So let's wait a few seconds. All right, now that we are in the installation mode here, I don't know if you guys can see because of the reflection of my face, even this is in there. The camera right in there, maybe. All right. So right now here we said to choose the language and format. You just click next. I'll zoom in in here. Maybe that will help. There we go. Zoom out a little bit more. No, I went too much in mode, I guess. That I think my face doesn't bother. Now next you want to click the install now. So it's just doing some processing, preparing the installation. All right, now here you want to click, I don't have a product ID. Click the link that says I don't have a product ID. Next you want to click terms and agree to the terms and licensing. That it should show up right here. Accept the terms, click the checkbox, and click next. Not focusing. Now, in here, you want to click on the bottom portion, which is customized. On the bottom, see so there are two sections top and bottom. You want to click on this bottom portion, customize. Once you click in that, you want to make sure you delete all the partition. If you see any partition, you click on it, and it says delete. Just click on the delete until the delete. Button becomes all gray and you have one big partition right there. You don't want to click new, you just want to click next. And now what it's going to do is going to start installing the windows uh, and it's going to do a few restarts and it should give you to a, take you out to a welcome screen. So let's just let this run and once we get to the welcome screen, I'll be back. All right, now that it first restart, and it's gonna do some preparation, and it's gonna do second restart, and it's gonna take you to the configuration in a welcome screen.
All right, it did, it's restart now. We are in the welcome spirit, so we're going to choose your region and your country. Click next. And it's going to come to the next step. You're going to choose your keyboard layout, whatever keyboard layout you want, just leave it the way it is. Click next and click skip. And now it's going to give you, choose your Wi-Fi. You do not want to connect with the cable to the Wi-Fi or with the Wi-Fi connection. Just click, I don't have an internet. Even if you do have internet, just click, I don't have it. That's the very important part. And then you want to click on the continue limited configuration, the link. And now it should take you to the name of the computer and to the desktop. And now once you get to the desktop, very easily. First thing first, what you want to do, you want to go to the start menu. All right, now that we are in the desktop, what you want to do, you see all these icons, gray icons in here. You want to right click on them and you want to unpin them. You want to do one by one. You want to start unpinning all this because all these are the affiliated programs that are just waiting for you to get an internet connection so they can get downloaded on your computer. Just like right click on those and click uh, unpin. Just one by one, keep doing it until they are all disappear. They keep coming up because there's a whole bunch of them. There are about 20 of them. So you don't want all this garbage, affiliated program, Candy Crush, like a anti 30 days antivirus stuff to be installed on your system. So pretty much just one by one, right click and un unpin them. Once you finish unpinning this one, then you can just go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi and do some Windows update. And you'll be all the drivers, everything will be installed with no problem. So, and this is the proper way of installing the windows on your Lenovo laptop. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.